How to do a relative humidity test using the NC2 method. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to do uh, and measure the relative humidity inside the concrete. This is not above or below, this is inside the concrete itself. Well, we'll start by drilling a hole into the concrete. This concrete has to be four inches thick, so we will only drill into two thirds into it. We do not drill all the way through. If your concrete is thicker, use the two thirds rule when you make the hole to insert the probe. After we drill the hole, we make sure that it's actually clean. We vacuum it, clean everything around it so the hole does not get uh, dirty. Uh, and then we insert a sleeve. The sleeve is designed to seal the hole uh, for the time that we're going to be before we do the testing and after the testing. So that way it's perfectly in good condition for, re for us to insert the probe. Once we let it see in there, we will leave it there for 72 hours. That means that it with that time will allow the concrete to basically cool off from the drilling, uh, generate the standard humidity that typically is in that floor, and it will give us a very good reading when we insert the probe. We come back with our meter, uh, and then we go ahead and uh, we remove the cap and insert the probe into the hole. The standard reading for a floor is 50% or less. That is an acceptable reading. Anything above 50% can mean an issue or something. As you can see, as soon as we inserted the probe, the meter went to 85% and climbing. This meter that we have, it will sequence itself three times to be able to accomplish the most accurate measurements uh, by resetting itself three times and see on the maximum reading. As you can see, it quickly went up to from 80 to 93. Uh, and then it will continue climbing. Uh, as it gets to close to the maximum humidity in that hole, it will start slowing down. In this case, 94%. That is 94% relative humidity. That means that the floor has humidity in the middle of it, inside the concrete at that level. 100% is the maximum the meter can read, which means that the floor is saturated, uh, basically wet in that part. Once we complete the testing and the reading, we remove the probe. We'll remove the sleeve off of it too as well, and uh, then we'll go ahead and patch the hole. Our process to patch the hole is basically to get a backer rod, which is just an insert to fill the hole. We insert that to give it some backing to, to our patch. And then we will use uh, a quick setting mortar uh, to fill the hole. So you'll see here how he's doing that. We just add the mortar fill the hole uh, to about half an inch in depth. Uh, we scrape it up so it's even with the floor. So it, when it dries, it looks like there was actually no hole there uh, after we finish. And now you'll have a perfectly nice repair floor. We leave it there uh, for 24 hours before you put any water or try to do anything to the floor. For more information on relative humidity testing, visit www.sealgreen.com or call 800-997-3873.